All right, guys, I heard you. If you guys are on Twitter, you saw my other videos. I said I'm not doing Fearless. I feel like he's coming back soon. As soon as I put this video out, he's going to come back, which would be amazing. But you guys asked, here it is. What really happened to Fearless? So Fearless has been gone for about eight months since the time this video was made. Rumors are getting pretty wild in the community. People are saying Fearless, he stopped liking Fortnite, that he's sick, that he's depressed and something's wrong. And even that he's dead, he's not dead. So what did actually happen to Fearless? You're about to find out. Wait until you see what he just did recently at the very end of this video. Trust me, you guys do not want to miss this. Hit like right now, check to see that you're subscribed and let's get started. So Fearless started out slow. He never even used his microphone in his videos and video after video he just super high skill gameplay of call of duty which it was all he played he was actually insane if you guys have never checked out his old videos not until like a year later did he start using his microphone and even though it was way different than the content that we know him for now you can still catch little glimpses of him here and there but as with any of the big YouTubers we love, they all start out slow. And then at one point, they explode. And for Fearless, that was when he made a video three years ago called Kicked from Phase, where he went from like 20,000 views on average to about 8.7 million views. Every single video from here on out was crazy. 5 million views, 2 million views, 12 million views. The Fearless we know and love now, he was crazy good at Black Ops. And I'm not going to lie, he's one of the best editors I think I've ever seen in my life. But where did Fearless actually take off? As if 12 million views on a single video wasn't enough, he really exploded. Well, you guys know when. Right, Tavernie! Tavernie! Where? You. Where? <laughs> I'm coming. Wait, there's two of them. Fuck. Come out! Ah, <laughs> oh, get ripped. <laughs> Add the meat. Add the meat. What? So Fearless was actually one of the first big YouTubers on Fortnite like three years ago before anybody even really knew what Fortnite was yet. He was already making sniping montages and oh my goodness, he is actually so good at sniping in any game apparently. So he went from like 5 million views to 9 million views. And then before we knew it, his videos were reaching 20 million view status. That's like the entire country of Taiwan watching your one video. That's like 307 stadiums of NFL fans watching your one video. These are good analogies. Just roll with it. But what I'm saying is like nobody has this kind of success. Like no wonder you guys ask on every one of these what happened videos that I make to make one on Fearless. Now here's the thing though. And part of why Fearless went missing, I think. He tried other games and even though they did well compared to his other videos they were flops so what do most of us youtubers do we go to where the views are and of course he would too before he knew it he was reaching 25 million views 30 million views do you want another country analogy yes you do of course his one video called bullying default skins it got more views than the entire country of canada wow Okay, you get it. You see how special this guy is as a YouTuber. Kids look up to Fearless like I don't see anywhere else ever. Like we love Daquan. We do. We can watch Hamlins all day. Watch my videos on them, by the way, if you guys didn't catch them. But I don't think I've ever seen people love a YouTuber this much. It's almost scary how much these kids want Fearless to come back. Maybe that's why they're like stalking his every move, literally writing urban dictionary posts about him saying he's the best person in the whole world. He's perfect and amazing. They're tracking him, trying to figure out where he went and what happened to him. Well, to be honest, it hasn't exactly been eight months since we last saw Fearless. That's just his main channel. Actually, Fearless, he went live on his mostly unknown second channel about five months ago to play Fortnite. And I didn't know about this, but I guess some of you guys caught it. This is where it gets kind of weird. So shout out to Brizzo for capturing the stream, but then the comments. People are worried about Fearless. He sounds like he is depressed and scared at the same time. He's trying so hard to hide his feelings like he has a different vibe to his voice. He sounds like he was crying and he sounds depressed. And then this one, Fearless was laughing a lot. That's not a very good thing because laughing that much is usually a way people hide that they're not feeling happy. And you could tell at the end that he was breaking out in tears. Okay, that one is a little too much maybe, but did you guys hear 
anything in Fearless's voice that would make you worried? Like, I don't know. Maybe I'm just missing it. He sounds, you know, pretty okay to me. I think a lot of kids just don't understand how much editing goes into his videos. Like, almost every second of his videos are edited. It's crazy. And then a live stream with just Fearless wanting to just chill and talk and just hang out, say hi, and gets comments like these. But then people are actually genuinely worried and actually care about him. This one's saying, I hope he's good. He sounds like something in his personal life happened. And we'll hear a lot more about that in just a second. Do not miss this. Now, I'm not trying to delve too deep in his life, but of course, we want to know what really happened to Fearless. So anyway, these are his last two videos. My Renegade Raider, 32 million views. That's like $64,000 cheeseburgers at McDonald's worth of money. Trust me, these analogies, they don't get any better. But then January 31st, 2020, this was it. The last day we saw an official Fearless video, at least for now. So those kids that I said were tracking him, they did find something out about Fearless. Urban Dictionary, definition four, you can see this for yourself, gold 86 star. He lets us know that Fearless, he's a funny Fortnite YouTuber. He hasn't uploaded in seven dang months, but also that he could be coming back soon. He said, and why do I think that? Because he changed his profile picture the other day. That's what we have heard from Fearless. And this was September 27th, 2020. So at the time this video was going out, it's like a month ago. Happy Halloween, by the way, guys. Or Christmas if we're there yet when you're watching this, but will Fearless come back soon? Is there something actually wrong with him? Straight up, is Fearless okay? Back in that stream, obviously you saw people were concerned, but Fearless said some things that did actually worry even me a little bit. He said he left for personal reasons, that's fine, but he said his hands were shaking almost uncontrollably to the point where he was like worried he couldn't play well. Maybe it's just a joke, but nervousness, being excited, I get it, but this is the guy who almost had the entire population of Spain watching one of his videos. You weren't ready for that analogy, right? But still, he struggled to stream to a few thousand people. Like, I get it. I really do. It is not easy pleasing all of you guys. And it makes me nervous even like six years into YouTube. And I have a lot smaller audience than Fearless. But the main thing is Fearless's videos, they're planned. They're edited every second. If he says even one thing wrong and does something cringy, he can just delete it. No problem. It's gone forever. A live stream, you can't do that. So what is going out to even a few thousand people is the real raw fearless and you know what maybe this is who he is maybe that's exactly why he isn't back and might not come back we're not really accepting maybe who he is this was a test stream and we might have failed we talked about c-day though and we wondered if the pressure was too much hamlin's in the other video same thing pleasing your fans is the hardest and most stressful thing you can ever do on youtube and that's probably why fearless was fearful no pun intended. All right, a little bit. And why we probably haven't seen him again. People also said he wasn't making jokes or having fun. Again, do you guys sit in your house all day and just like crack jokes and make everything you do some YouTube content moment? No, he probably just wanted to chill. Even Bo Burnham, one of the funniest, loudest comedians alive. I love him. But he said he's quiet, he's shy, and he is awkward off stage. Fearless, four months ago, said this though. Do not miss this. If this is real, he said, people think I quit. Nah, I just need time. I don't like talking about personal things so don't want to get into it just remember that you never know what others are going through i'm trying sorry i love you either way fearless if you are watching this we get it we all get it take your time we want to see you again but we get it like and sub if you guys didn't already check out my other what happened videos if you want to and we'll see you guys in the next video love denver i gotta do something in a bit like 30 minutes and i'm gonna come home and i'm gonna just go hard and upload hopefully this year <laughs> but yeah i i love you guys hope you have an amazing day a blessed life um free taking i don't know <laughs> take care for real take care i love you guys how do i entry <laughs>